Hi guys, welcome back to Encaustic Hacks. My name's Karen, and um, this is the fifth episode of my Encaustic Art Hacks. And as I've told you all, I have many hacks to share. It's one of my favorite things is coming up with easy, fun things to do that make creating more interesting, particularly in the realm of encaustic painting, yet other artists um, can find ideas and inspiration from these videos as well. So I'd like to call today's episode, Bless This Mess, because most artists have pretty messy studios. Um, even if they're neat people, when you create, it oftentimes makes a mess. The challenge with encaustic painting is the kind of mess we have is wax getting embedded into everything. Um, our tables, our floors, our equipment, uh, our tools. So there's a lot of mess in dealing with encaustic, but I'd like to talk to you about some ways to embrace the mess and use it to your advantage. So one of the first things that's helpful is that when I'm waiting for my encaustic paint to heat up and become molten, that can take somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 minutes. And I like to use that time um, to maybe straighten up my studio and to clean up the wax bits that are on the floor, on the table. Um, I make a point of saving as much wax bits as I possibly can. Why do I do that? Well, I have multiple reasons. For one, the encaustic wax medium is really expensive. So a 10 pound bag of my encaustic medium that I purchase is around $200. And uh, that can you know, finish, be finished in a very short period of time. So I try to save what I can and reuse what I can. And um, I'm gonna share some other tips about that. So when my um, wax is heating up, I'll be walking around and I might be scraping up some of the mess or I oftentimes um, save the strips of tape that were on the sides of my painting while I was painting the tape that was protecting the edges. Um, I have an example of that here. This is a piece of tape that was on the edge of a recent painting I did. And uh, to many of you, this probably looks like garbage. To me, um, there's a lot of stuff on here that I can use. So I, I oftentimes take my tape and I will find a way to peel off that wax. I don't know why this is so satisfying to me. And I call this my wax bacon. So um, this is something that I will save and I will reuse and I'm gonna show you how I reuse that. And I've come to have a lot of these pieces of wax bacon. I'll show you uh, one of my collections. This is gonna be added to this collection. It's so pretty just looking at it. It's like a piece of art. And I have thin pieces. I have thicker pieces, really bright pieces. Um, I just, I love looking at these and I actually find them inspiring, but um, the way that I use them sometimes is I'll either add them to my encaustic paint to create new colors or to um, return an original color back to a color. So say if this is my black paint, I'll throw this back in my black paint and now I have more black paint to use. So this is of value to me. I also enjoy taking these pieces and incorporating them into my paintings. I will melt them on top of um, a pre-painted uh, encaustic piece and I like seeing what happens with it and they do add interesting flares to the painting. So that's another use for the wax bacon as I call it. My final use of the wax bacon is actually, I also have, I wanna mention I have little small scraps as well of the wax bacon. So I save them in different tins. Um, these are some smaller pieces as you can see. These will also, they could end up in a painting or they could end up in um, one of my paints um, to either add to a color, create a color, 
Um, so these are really useful to have. And what I get the most use out of these is um, I created something that I call my repair kit. So this is my hack for today. Uh, when I'm going to be in a show and I'm bringing a lot of art, sometimes I might have a small chip. I might have uh, an area that maybe needed a little bit more paint um, or there could have been some damage. And so what I do is for each painting, I'll create um, from my scraps of wax or my wax bacon as I call it, I will create um, little baggies. If you have these little Ziploc bags, I'll throw these in because it's a particular color that went with that painting and I'll save this. And what you can do is you can tape this. Here, this one has like more yellows in it. It's a very particular color that might be hard for me to recreate in the moment. So if I have little scraps of it, if I have to do a small repair, I can take this bag and I can either, um, I can either tape it to the back of the painting so I know where it is, or I can put it um, in a repair kit that I would make. So I would take a little plastic box like this you can find at the Dollar Tree and um, I can have various colors of my scraps of all different sizes and I don't know why I find this so interesting <laughs> and artistic but so I'll have this and I can pop this into my box and then along with that I have um, I don't know if you've seen this before, but this is an embossing tool. And this is basically a very mini, mini heat gun. And so it just gives small concentrated amounts of heat. Um, doesn't blow very hard, but that's perfect when you're making small repairs. And if you're not in your studio and you're at a gallery or a show and you need to do it really quick, you just plug this in, grab your scrap, put it on and do the fixing. So this is my hack is to have that repair kit handy. Uh, take, it, take it with you and you'll be ready um, and you won't run into any situations where you have damage to a piece that you're trying to sell. So that's my hack for today and I hope that helps you and I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel and click on like. Thanks so much, bye.